Joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show is the head coach of the St. Peter's Peacocks, who busted many, many brackets, but I'm sure he does not care at all. He is Shaheen Holloway. How are you, coach? Doing well. Thanks for having me on. You got it. So what did you tell your team going into this game? You know what I told I told us I told us, I mean, let's go out there and have some fun. Let's go out there and make history. Um, you know, we came in with some momentum. We won, you know, eight games in a row. You know, I know if if, if we could, you know, withstand eight day running for the first seven minutes, we'd have a good, good chance. And you know, the team the, the team had a lot a lot of confidence. They had a lot of confidence. Well, you could definitely see it that they they had a lot of confidence right right from uh, right from the first tip, right? I mean, so. Uh, the, uh, the your your game plan uh, going against Kentucky and how it worked out was what? You know what the game plan was. The game plan was just go in and just you know play St. Peter's basketball. You yeah. know you know um, you know I, I got a bunch of guys on my team that play with it with it. A chip on his shoulder. You know, some of my guys on my team think they belong at Kentucky. <laughs> you know, for whatever reason, right? So you know, we just. Went out there and just just wanted to play St. St. Peter's basketball. We, we wanted to play our defense. We wanted, wanted to play just. And then got to play, and I think I think the second half we, we kind of did that. Okay, so then uh, and then obviously uh, down eight with three minutes to go. Um, I, you know, uh, I, I'm wondering how you, as a coach who knows the ebbs and flows of a game, uh, were, was able to get your guys uh, focused, or how your guys focused. Uh, on their own, potentially, to get this game into overtime at the very least? Well, you know what? We kind of changed our defense up. Once we changed the defense up, we kind of got them stagnated a little bit. And I told them, I said, we could get two two stops and two scores. You know, we're going to be right back in this. And we did it. Um, you know, and then we got right back in it. I think we, had, we actually had a chance to win before overtime. You know, if we, if we could have got a rebound, um, we didn't get a defensive rebound. They got it and threw it out hit a three. You know, and that's how they got the lead. But, um, you know, this is about games and runs. I told you guys about game and run. I said, you guys put yourself in a uh, position to win a game. Go out there and win it. Shaheen Holloway, the head coach of the St. Peter's Peacocks, who just uh, pulled off a major upset, uh, the first major upset and perhaps the biggest major upset we're going to see in this tournament right here on the uh, Rich Eisen Show. So uh, which kid uh, has a story that you met you didn't know him, then you heard about, and you recruited him to your team, and just balled out last night. You got a good story for that people may not know. I know you don't want to well, sing. I think go I for think it. most of the guys are like that, right? If you look at my team, you know we got it's a bunch of guys on my team that was under recruited. Um, a, a lot of guys that you know didn't have a lot of D one offers, um, so they they came to play for me. They believed in my vision, um, you know, and they got better each year. And that's how kind of how, that, that's the blueprint of. You know how we did things at Seton Hall. How I'm doing things now. You kind of get guys that's under recruited and make them better. So you know it's not just one guy. I mean, I, I mean, the whole the whole team has a story. And then uh, again, your story, uh, Shaheen. You just mentioned Seton Hall. Did uh, Calipari try to recruit you at UMass back in the day? Did you ever you know hear what? from? Him? Did Did Calipari? You know he, yeah. He he recruited one of my teammates, Winston Smith. Um, when he was at UMass, um, he tells a story that. I was too good to go there, so he, he wants to recruit me. <laughs> but um, but no, he recruited one of my teammates, Winston Smith. Okay, so Cal, I just took a shot just to see if Coach Cal might have strolled into your living room or something like that way back in the day, and now you've kind of stood in his way in 2022. You know, it's kind of no, amazing. no, you know, no, he, no, he, he recruited one of my teammates. So no, I knew Coach Cal for a long time. Well, I mean, good guy, yeah, of a coach. What do you mean he's your guy? What'd you say? I said I said he's a good guy, heck okay. of a coach. Right. Um, and so back in your day um, as well, Shaheen, you were the MVP of the 1996 McDonald's uh, All-American game. And on your team that you were the you, you, you won the MVP of. But you I mean, what a stacked game that was. Kobe Bryant was on that team as well. What are your recollections of, of being a teammate of Kobe back in the day, Shaheen? You know, Kobe's a great guy. You know, God, God bless him, Dad. You know, I, I played with Kobe a lot before the before the, the McDonald's game. We played against each other a lot and, and with each other a lot, a lot of All Star games. Um, that was a tremendous game. Just it just had so many uh, big time players, a lot of NBA players on that team. Tim Thomas, Rich Hamilton, Mike Bibby. You know, Kobe. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, and you know, we just we was out there having fun and just enjoying the, each other and. 
you know, try to get a chance to kind of be normal. You know, at that time, all of us was, you know, high-profile high school basketball players. So it's really hard to try to be a, high, a normal high school kid. So now when, you, when, you, when you're around a group that's kind of went through the same thing you went through, like that whole weekend, everybody was just, was just out there enjoying each other, coffee, having fun. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the, the the roster of your team was Kobe, Rip Hamilton, Stephen Jackson, Jermaine O'Neal, Tim Thomas, and you were yeah, the. I mean, good <laughs> lord! It's crazy, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you know that that's a Big Mac right there, no question about that. And so, do 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 you show any of your old footage or film to your team? Does no, you, you know what? You know what? No, I, I try not to do that. I try to make it about them. Some things that come up on the internet, and they come down and ask me about it. And I kind of downplayed it a little bit, but now nah, you know I don't really, I don't, I don't really talk about my career because I, I wanted, to, I wanted to be all about the, these guys and, and the work that they put in, and you know, for them. And so, um, when it was all over, who did you hear from, Coach Holloway? Who did you hear from oh, from man. back in the day? But, when, when, the, when what was all over? When, when the game was all over yesterday, when you looked down at oh, your man. phone, maybe who did you hear from? Uh, Oh man, I, I had 781 texts. I still, I still <laughs> Did you say 781? Is that what you said? 780, 781. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I'm honored that one of them, being from uh, the Rich Eisen Show booking staff, uh, may may have uh, gotten to you. So uh, you got a you got a couple names that people that that reached out to you that uh, you. No, you know, you just a try. bunch of family and friends and, and coworkers and you know coaches that that's in the business that I was uh, friends with. Um, you know, just you know people that support me, support the program. You know, people like that. Okay. And so uh, next up is Murray State. I'm sure you, you spent uh, a lot of time deep into the night watching that game. Um, what do you tell your team about not just letting this uh, win, soul win, define you and your team, Coach? Well, we came down here on a mission to, to win two games, um, you know, one game at a time. Murray State is a great program. It's been a great program for a long time now, um, top 25 program. You know, Coach does a great job over there. Um, we just got to come out and play St. Peter's basketball. You know, I was, I've been on watching them all night. Sorry that my voice sounds like this. I'm a little hoarse right now. It's but, so good. You know, um, now, you know what? Um, you know, they are a great program. It's going gonna, gonna to be a heck of a game. I mean, we put in some similarities in, into styles. You know, they play 10 guys. We play 10, 11 guys. Um, you know, they press, we press. You know, but they, they like to obviously get up and down a little bit more. And we, we like to play defense. So, you know, we got to make sure that we understand the, the scout report and the game plan and kind of go from there. Coach, congratulations on the W. Appreciate the time. I know you're a busy man. Good luck against Murray State. And uh, I, I, I just have to full disclosure, you destroyed my bracket. And I just wanted to tell you that myself. <laughs> uh, but I, I told everybody, I told everybody, I told everyone who asked me, mm-hmm. do not bet on us. I told them that during, during, during the season. I don't know what team is going to show up myself. <laughs> 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 Line of the day, sir. We call that a mic drop. Uh, thank you so much, Coach. Uh, let's let's chat again soon. Congratulations and uh, say hi to everybody back in Jersey City and uh, and the East Coast. You take care. Thank you guys so much. You got us, Shaheen Holloway, everybody, head coach of St. Peter's, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.